hello everyone welcome to the video and in this video we are going to see how we can convert this particular data set into an amazing looking dashboard just like this within 10 minutes yes you heard it right within 10 minutes we are going to convert this boring looking excel sheet into a dynamic excel dashboard just like this in 10 minutes so stay tuned with me and let's get into the video but before we move forward let me tell you that we have an amazing workshop on microsoft excel word powerpoint using chat gpt and other ai tools the link is in the description and we will talk more about it later in the video working professionals are you using excel power bi powerpoint or word in your day to day life what if i tell you that you are wasting 95% of your time while you are doing so how so you will be asking me because you are not using chat gpt and ai tools while doing all of these work so how can we do that within 10 minutes right so let me show you what we need to do so we have this particular data set which is a movies data set we have title release date genre of the movie which country it is related what is the rating of the movie and this is simply a number which acts as a counter right and then we have the revenue generated by the movie so what we have to do is simply select all of it and then go to insert and click on pivot tables right and then we will take it to the new worksheet now we have the pivot table now let's see what are the charts we need so this is one of the chart where we see number of movies by genre right so what we will do we will drag genre in the rows and we have number of titles which is nothing but number of movies and we will drag it into the values so now we can see that we have our genres and how many number of titles are there for that particular genre then what i have to do is go to insert click on pivot chart click on here and then i can select this particular chart right and hit ok so now i have this chart which is kind of similar to this particular chart right but it is not sorted right no problem what you have to do just click here right click right click and then you can click on this sort short largest to smallest and now you see we have something similar to this one all right now what is the second chart we have the second is this one number of movies by genre and rating right so what we need to do just click on this particular pivot table go to pivot table analyze and then click on select entire pivot table this will select your entire pivot table then simply you can control c to copy this pivot table and here place it as control v now we have this pivot table right but in the chart we need to show by genre and by rating so what i will do i will drag the rating column into the columns right so now we can see based on different ratings in the comedy genre how many movies are released and we also have the totals right then simply what we will do is while we are in this particular pivot table we will go to insert pivot chart click on pivot chart and then we will go to this bar and select something like this right and hit ok so we have it like this now in this case what we need to do is go to grand total and sort it in descending order so sort smallest to largest so that our chart will be sorted largest to smallest right so now next chart okay so we will arrange everything guys don't worry we will do it at the end next chart we have is gross revenue trend by genre so here we have different years and then we have the revenues right so what i'll do i will again do the same thing click anywhere in this pivot table go to pivot table analyze and then select entire pivot table Control C, I will copy this and here I will paste it as Control V. Now, here I want years 
and then also i need the ratings right so what i will do here i will drag the release year and then genre i will discard because i don't need genre right i have the number of titles but then again i also need the rating so ratings i will click here so now i have the years and the different ratings of the movie and we also have the totals right so then again i will go to insert and then go to pivot chart click on pivot chart and then i will select on this area chart and click here this is a stacked area chart and i will click on ok so now you see i have this um, area chart where the different colors mean the different uh, rating of the movies right so we have it now now we have all these charts right and then we also have the different uh, pivot tables and different charts but how can we make this into a dashboard and also how we could apply all these filters so that you know everything that we have will get filtered uh, by the single slicers that we have so here if you see if i do any genre filtering right so let's say i just want to select action adventure or something like this so it is only affecting this particular chart it is not affecting this one or this one right but i don't want that i want if i apply some filter i want to apply it all over to all the charts right so for that what i need to do is i can click on any of the pivot table go to insert or maybe go to pivot table analyze and then click on insert slicer right and then in the slicer i can select okay now if you see this particular uh, picture we have the rating slicer we have the country slicer right so rating and country both of the things i will select and i will hit okay so now you see i have both the slicers now um, one thing you can see is so i'll click on one of the slicers okay then i'll click on report connection so now here i will select which pivot tables i want to be want this particular slicer to be applied now you see so many pivot tables because i actually have other pivot tables that sheet is hidden but you can see this particular i can select which pivot table i can apply right so for ease of use what i can do is before we move forward in the topic let me tell you that ai is not going to replace you but a person using ai will so if you don't want to lag behind then join the workshop to learn ai hacks in ms office using chat gpt and other ai tools you don't need to have any prior knowledge for this and i'm pretty sure that you will become hyper efficient post this so what are you waiting for join our workshop by clicking the link in the description below now let's get back to our topic i can name my pivot tool i'll go to pivot tool analyze and name it as genre something like that genre titles something like that so that it is easily distinguishable right similarly here i can write genre rating titles right and then here also i can go and go to pivot table analyze and name it something as year rating and revenue right something like that and then what i'll do is i'll again click on this country go to the slicer option click on slicer setting uh sorry not slicer setting click on report connections and then here you can see now i want this particular slicer to be applied on these three pivot tables right and hit ok same thing we have to do for the rating thing and click here and click here and click on ok so now this will be applied in all of the things and also you can see there are uh, many non applicable values are there so i don't want that actually so what i'll go to do is i'll click on slicer setting and click on this hide items with no data and click on ok now you see those things are gone same thing i will do for the country slicer i'll click on hide items with no data so now we have the slicer ready and we are also missing one of the slicers and that is this year slicer so this is actually a timeline so what i can do is i can uh, come here in the uh, this pivot table here where we have this timeline go to pivot table analyze click on insert timeline and then this is 
one release date is the only timeline available so i'll click on uh, this one and click on okay and once we have this timeline i don't want months i want years so what i'll do is i'll click on years and then you can see we have all the years right so uh, right from 1920 so i don't want all this so maybe i will just and you can see the scroll bar is there. I don't want the scroll bar, right? So what I can do is here you see these options, right? You can deselect the scroll bar, right? Then you can directly go ahead and like this. And uh, let me just uh, select from 1995. I don't want all these years. And this is coming because originally my data has actually from 1990. Uh, like 1920s but i don't think those movies make any sense so i limited my data to 1995 uh, but the slicer um, is showing me that it has range from uh, 1920 we can have that it's not a problem but why to have it like we can limit it right so let me just go up to 1995 yeah so just like this and we are good right so we have all these three slicers and we have all these charts but how to make it into an amazing dashboard like this right so that's pretty easy we actually did the hard part right now making the dashboard is not a very difficult thing so then what i'll do is i will hide all this right i will select all of these and right click here and click on hide make sure you don't delete that right <laughs> otherwise all of your effort will go in vain so then i will go for and select different slicers that i have where is my timeline slicer this one right so let me zoom in a little bit and then we will just need to arrange it right so i'll arrange it and in order to snap it to grid just hold your alt button in the windows and then just snap it to the grid right similarly for these ones right you can just snap it like this and just snap it like this okay maybe like this right and then um uh, let me take to this particular one maybe yeah and then we need the rating so rating if you see it is coming like this so how can do like different columns it is just coming in one horizontal column well that is also easy you come here and make it like this columns you just increase it right so i want something like this three columns right so three columns and i will make it small and then i will snap it to the grid and this one also i will snap it to the grid right and then this one also and then we have the country right so i will drag this country right below this one right and i will also increase this to this much okay or maybe let me just decrease it to this much uh this much is okay and then this one is up to this much and yeah uh yeah now it is good and then i can just decrease it like this and then this one i can increase right maybe up to like this right and then once we have this release date with us maybe i will increase it up to this and then we want this one right here and then this one right here right this one right here the space we need to decrease a little bit yeah and then this one we need up to let's say this much okay i'll increase this one and then finally we have this area chart this area chart i will uh keep it here or this one i need to decrease up to this much this one also i need to decrease up to this much i think we are good oh uh, yeah maybe this one this much and this is all about adjustment guys okay you can see what all i am doing is i'm just snapping it to grid using my alt column right and then i am doing all this now you see we have all these things right doesn't look good so what i'll do is i'll come here go to format or go to just pivot table analyze and then click on field buttons click on hide all so this will hide all the field buttons okay because we already have the slicers right so we don't need it 
and then we all have to just click here and change the titles if the titles is not there we can click here and then put the titles on but now you can see guys now you can see we have this dashboard in place we have this dashboard in place you see this is the dashboard where is the title well for the title all you have to do is just have some space here and then take this much maybe march it and then write i m d b movies analysis and then you format it something like that right then you have your dashboard now i already created this dashboard so let me just unhide one of the sheets and then you can see the dashboard ready so you see within 10 to 15 minutes you can create such amazing dashboard and i will also show you a trick if you don't like this color scheme let's say you don't like this color scheme guess what you can change it dynamically any column color theme you select in excel and your dashboard will change automatically to that particular color scheme okay if you don't like this fonts you can choose any of these themes to change your font styles and everything else you see dynamically you can change a lot of things so how is it did you like it if you like it just hit the like button in the video and i hope you learned a lot and i hope you will apply this knowledge to your projects and you know become a star in your office so yeah that's it for the today's video and i will see you next time please do like comment share the video and subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos also do check out our workshop link in the description we'll see you there thank you